Today I'm going to show you a nice yoga pose, a couple of poses and moves, specifically for people who have scoliosis, where there is pain, stiffness, or joint restriction on that on the outside of the curve, and perhaps some muscular weakness or collapse on the inner side of the curve. First one we're going to do is in table. Now, you don't have to have scoliosis to get benefits from this stretch. You will recognize them as some, some yoga moves. And the side body is really the mediator between the forward folds and the back bends. So opening up the lateral sheath of the body has huge benefits and can help you in all of the other family of poses, including the twists. We'll start in a table. I'll show you from the front so you can see how the, the spit will change from top to bottom, and then I'll show you from the side. So having your hands right underneath your shoulders and the knees right underneath your hips, press your feet down, feel the engagement of the belly, which is really helpful. And in, you're going to do a side-to-side -side motion. So the anatomical movement of the spine is a lateral flexion. Think that you move your hips out to the right, and you're also going to move your head over to the right. I don't want you to turn the neck here. So you're keeping neutral from top to bottom. Think that you're reaching the crown of the head out and around. And ostensibly what I'm doing is lengthening from the outer hip to the armpit. I'm going to move my hips to the right, feel it in the lower waist, and then I'm going to move my head and shoulders to the right. So I'm getting more length on the left side of the body. You can think that you're lengthening from the outer hip or the groin to the armpit. That's going to up, open up more space. I'm going to hold and breathe, and then I'm going to go to the left. So hips to the left, head, neck, and shoulders to the left. So as I'm doing this to the left, I'm lengthening the right side. I'm ostensibly opening up more space in the right lung to allow more breath to come in and to really feel that deep breath, which is a lateral breath. So allowing the breath to move all the way down and expand wide in the lower part of the ribs. If you have um, a scoliosis down in the curve is down in the lumbar, there is usually a, there's a collapse in on one side. You may have one hip higher than the other. And the pain will often be from the muscles being pulling the spine out to the side. There'll be a lot of restriction there. So that's going to allow the opening and the lengthening. But going the other way will turn on, will allow these muscles to start to move, and will slacken the side where the curve is on. Those muscles are always being pulled. So that will actually inform the opposite pattern to what you think is center or normal or the spit. The second one, and so we want you to do this. It should feel, it should feel different and good in both directions. So do it, linger, five times in each direction. It shouldn't take you more than a couple of minutes. Again, when you're getting length on the side that's really perpetually holding and, and taut and tight, it'll feel really nice to allow the breath to come in. But also hold on the opposite side so you begin to repattern the nervous system. The second one, you come to stand with the legs pretty wide. Find your spit from head to tail. This one is very nice if you have the curve in the thoracic, in the, in the upper part of the spine, because we're going to be doing essentially the same thing. Our orientation to gravity is different, and we're just going to slide one hand down the leg to open up the opposite side. So you'll feel this more in the upper part, in the ribs and the upper spine, and this is more if you have the curve in the thoracic. Now, if you have the S curve and you have a curve in the thoracic and in the lumbar, you can do both. But I don't have scoliosis, and these just feel really good. Opening up the space, I'm feeling the accordion of the rib cage, keeping the head in line, not dropping it off, ear towards the shoulder. The more that hand slides down, the more the opposite side opens up. Now you can add even more to this by really pressing the feet down actively. 
Ah, oh, it feels so nice. It really allows you to expand the breath. Open up space in the thoracic cavity, opening up the lungs, and then a big sun breath in. And really. Thanks, everyone. Wishing you a beautiful day.